This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com oh, What's up people, Dabs Wars is right here and welcome to a Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. As always people, please check out GeekRetreat.com You actually will see me a lot more often now because if you guys want to know, I've actually come out, semi come out, out of retirement to do Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments and to be honest from being a legendary player for many years doing professionals, I am absolutely atrocious at it now because there's so many new cards. But anyhow, this is also a massive shout out to all the people who actually are all who actually are there in the tournaments. And every one of you, you guys know who you are. Massive shout out to you lot. But today we are opening up five packs of Battle of Chaos. Now I have opened up about ten packs of these. And the only thing I've only pulled out of them were only two ultra rares. So that's perfectly fine for me, so at least it wasn't recorded. But to be honest, I'm really hoping high high property. Well, literally, I'm, I'm hoping for something good out of five packs. Because recently, I've had bad luck with these at the moment whilst I've been doing the tournaments. But hopefully, my luck will change. And as you guys know it, hopefully, make sure, make sure you guys subscribe down below, as always, for more content like this. As well as your music videos and your gameplay. And anyhow, how did you guys feel about the um, recent pack opening I did? Um, the Celebrations Extravaganza was a massive shock, wasn't it, people? Nice, we get Shell. There we go. Good card for myself. Uh, of Fate, Hidden Star. There we go. We got ourselves a right wreck of Dogman Dominica. Good super rare, to be honest. Uh, Flowerdino. Pretty much, I have opened up a few of these, like I said, and yeah, I. Pretty much know a lot of these cards affect. Top um, top share was actually a good card for me to use in the tournament as well. Um, so yeah, um, the um, Pokemon Celebrations Extravaganza was a good little success. Yes, we did not get every single pack, every single card. But like I said though, it's not all over because like I said, I do have more in my collection. So I can open them up in the near future. Trouble D Headhunt, End of the Line, Dread Clatus. And DD Giffon. I've not seen this one yet, so that's nice to see. We got Smoke Mosquito, another good card right there. Sword Soul. Trap Tricks, okay. Very nice. So we got at the moment two Super Res, no Ultras or Secrets. That's not what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping to at least to get one Ultra out of five packs, or a Secret, or even if you're very, very fortunate, a Starlight. But they're highly. Highly hard to pull. Bear, nice. We got ourselves a Dynamorphia Stealth Brea. Nice. <laughs> I think I, if I remember, I think there is somebody in car, in um, in a Geek Retreat who actually is looking for the Dynamorphias, but I think he's already has it, so that's perfectly fine. Scepter Strike, Diplios, and Venus, and Ghost Trick Festival. Oh, that's actually a really good card for your Ghost Tricks. Actually, I'm not, not actually, I haven't even pulled that card before, so that's nice to see. Like I said, I do have a lot, a lot of Ghost Trick cards in my collection, but like I said though, they are scattered around in my whole collection, so I have to literally hunt them down if I want a Ghost Trick deck. At the moment though, only three Supers, no Ultras. We're hoping to get something good here. XYZ Combine, nice! A new support for your XYZ cards. Nothing bad there, I'm happy with that for Super Rare. Tor Ride, Tribe Drive, and Bird of Perfection, and Sonic. Okay. So, our four packs, we've only pulled Super Rares. Not very good to really start this month off for July. So, come on, please let there be good stuff here. And like I said, people, a, um, for the people in America, I'll give you guys, I wish you guys a very early 4th of July. Nice! Ultra Fusion right there, Super Rare. I'll take that any day. That's a good fusion card. Join your main face, fusion summon one fusion material monster from your extra deck. That mentions blue eyes right dragon or blue eyes ultimate dragon as material by shuffling the fusion material listed on this card from your hand, field or graveyard into the deck. Then you can destroy the face up card your opponent controls up to a number of blue eyes white dragons or blue eyes ultimate dragons from the field. As material, you can only activate this one per turn. That is really, really good, people. That's good for your blue eyes deck. Definitely really good for myself. I'd love to try and get some more of these, so I'm going to put it in my deck. 
and not bad. So pretty much, I only pulled one blue eyes, blue eyes card that I actually really wanted, so that's nice. No Dark Magician, like I said, there is a Dark Magician card in this set that's worth around about £800. Again, yes. So pretty much, if I get that card, that means I got two of the most expensive Dark Magician cards in the world, in the UK. So, I'm hoping to hunt that down in the near future, but for the moment, moment in time, we pulled five supers, no ultras or secrets. It's not a big, it's not a good thing, it's not a bad thing, but either way, I'm happy because I don't recall having these in my collection. They're definitely going into my folder. So, if you guys enjoyed it, I surely did, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like I said, around about 86% of you guys are not subscribed, so what are you doing with your life? If you like watching my videos, hit the subscribe button as always. With that being said, the people I'm saluting will see you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Not bad. Out of the 15 packs I pulled at the moment, I got an I get Ultimate Fusion for Blue Eyes. I'll take that any day. I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Oh! Oh!